Have you ever seen such this vintage cinematic look video? This effect imitates the effect taken by Kodak 8mm film. 8mm is characterized by film grains, burns, dirt and noise, artifacts, etc. In this video, I will show you how to use these super 8mm film overlay, to make an old film look video with Ace Movie. In the comment down below I will share the free super 8mm film overlay. You can download it, and make your own video following my step. Welcome back to Ace Movie channel. Here we'll teach you the latest editing tips. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe our channel, and ring the bell, so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment down below that more tutorials you'd like to see from us. If you don't have Ace Movie, you can find the link to download it in the description below. Let's open the Ace Movie and import the overlay and video on Ace Movie. The first step, add video and overlay to the timeline. In the Media tab, you can use Ctrl A to select all media and add them onto the timeline. Let's have a look about the three effects. The light leak overlay, 8mm effect, old film grain overlay. Next, I'm gonna to adjust the order of each media. The super 8mm film effect is in the bottom track, and the light leak overlay and old film grain overlay are in the top track, and video is placed in the middle track. After that, do a quick cut for the videos and effects. The second step. Change the blending mode. Let's click the effect and go to the right side of the screen. In the compositing, we can see the blending mode. Change the blending mode of light leak overlay and old film grain overlay to lighten mode. Next, change the blending mode of all videos to multiple mode. and the video will fill the white background of the 8mm film effect. But we need to adjust the position and scale of the video, otherwise, the video will cover up the while box, and there will be a black edge of the video, it looks bad. So we need to change the scale and position of the video. Now it looks more natural and great. Next, just change the other videos like the first one. The third step. Deal with the details. After completing the above two steps, the video is basically completed. You can export the video after previewing, or you can continue to make some detailed adjustments, to make the overall effect look better. Here, I'll change the opacity of the these two overlays, you can change it depending on your own situation. Next. I want to make the video look more noisy. Let's go to the left side of the screen. Click the effects tab. Here we have lots of effects and overlays. You can choose the effects you like to add to the video. Here, I'll choose the mat and add it to the timeline. Then, we can see the screen is filled with lots of noise but it's too much, let's reduce the noise a little bit, now it looks great. Let's click the play to review the whole video. If you happy with the final effect, just go to the right corner, there is a little yellow button, click it to export your video. That's it for today's video tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Let us know what tutorials you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.